When you're creating a document that has a letterhead or some other big thing at the top of the first page, but then afterward, every other page in the document needs to have normal headings, you can see here where the header on page two of this document is pushed down significantly to match up with the one on the first page. Hey everybody, my name is Neil Malik from Knack Training and in today's Everyday Office, a two minute tutorial on how to use continuous section breaks for a perfect letterhead template. So we start with a basic document, no difference in the headers at all. I'm going to double click into the header on the first page here and you can see that there is no distinction between the first page's header and the next page's header. So what I'm going to do to make a distinction between the first page's header and the second page's header is this. Right here, after the first line of this letter, I'm going to go to my Layout tab at the top of the screen, go to Breaks, and in order to have a really different header and footer on different sections of the document, I need section breaks. But specifically here, I don't want to put in a next page section break yet because I don't want it to move on to the next page right after the uh, introduction, for example. So instead, I'm going here to the continuous section break. As you can see, by putting in a continuous section break, it's like nothing happened. But if I go to my home tab and I click on this little icon here for the paragraph markers, you can see where the next page section break is. And what's more, when I double click in the header now, I can see that this is now the header of section one and this is the header of section two. And when I scroll down, this is the footer of section one and this is the footer of section two. Now it's at this point where I need to go to the header of section 2 and make sure that this tab on the right, same as previous, is deselected. So right over here on my design tab, I'm going to deselect the button for link to previous. And that allows me to have a different first section than the rest of the sections. Now I'll go back to section 1, increase the amount of space that that header on section one has, as you can see, pushing that one down, but leaving the second page exactly as it was. Now I'm going to go into my insert tab, grab a picture, there's my letterhead, go ahead and change the wrap text to either behind or in front of text so that it can just float perfectly inside of the document, make sure that it's placed perfectly, there we go. And again, as you can see, this fits the letterhead perfectly, but on the next page, I can say something like from the office of Neil Malik, and I can insert my page numbers right there in the current position, insert a plain page number. Now here's the best part. Let's say that this is your first document and, and everything went just perfectly for you. At this point, what you can do is you can come in here, take out everything that follows that next page continuous section break, right? Maybe um, we'll put in a little dot, dot, dot right here and leave in the regards and whoever the sender is. So this right here could be the starting point for our document. What we'll do is we'll go to File, Save As, and we'll save this not as a standard, I'll save it to my PC here, not as a standard DOCX file, but instead as a Word template, a DOTX file. Now I'll just go ahead and make sure that I save it to my desktop someplace, there we go and I'll call this letterhead template. Okay, so I've got a letterhead template saved to this computer. Let's go ahead and close this down. Here's my letterhead template. Double click on it, and what you'll notice here is that we have the contents here after the section break. I'll put in a little random content at that point, and notice that it holds on to that understanding of what the headers and footers on the second section are supposed to have, even when it's a simple template file. 